Okay, Kevin, let's take a look at this amazing application. Okay, let's launch it. So this, uh, as far as I understand, is a protein that sits on the surface of a human cell. The, uh, the cell wall kind of is in, is in this region here, and this provides uh, an opening here. Uh, this um, protein is um, of interest in relation to uh, beta blocker drugs. So if I turn on additional molecules, we see one molecule in here that is actually a beta blocker. So a scientist might research how it interacts with this, the other geometry in this area. So I might look at it, right here is a, a sort of cartoon rendering. Um, I could change it to um, mobile or viewing each atom. It doesn't make sense to me, but to a scientist. What this app does is shows us past presidential nominating convention information both on the Democratic side and on the Republican side. If I touch the Republican button, you want to see the direction of my finger there, the card moves to my finger. St. Louis moves to the location of my finger. St. Louis had multiple conventions in it, so this allows me to go in and check out the multiple conventions. And in uh, LA, there was only one. All of this is data-driven. So if I wanted to explore this, these are all the digital assets that were provided to us from the Library of Congress. If I wanted to add a new asset to this, we could do that through our content management application. And this is information specific to the 1976 convention. And now I can just explore with all the surface goodness and take a look at all these different digital assets. By touching this, it flips it around, I can see more information. We also have videos that were provided to us. Users can uh, explore, multiple users can explore these assets at a, at a single time. You can see that's quite a complex molecule, and WPF is doing quite a good job in 3D. Uh, wouldn't you argue yes? I would. Actually, the performance is, is very reasonable on this. This is a part that's data driven as well. What this dialer does is you can see this is pulsing to entice me to touch it. It's showing me who won in the years that are right here. So 1976, Jimmy Carter won. These are the states that he won. He ran against Gerald Ford. Those are the states that he won. So we can go and see where Ronald Reagan won, where Bill Clinton won, and go, we can even go back to 1789 where there was more than two parties running at the time. And this should be there. You know, you can open it, close it, and so on and so forth. And this has the same kind of inertia as other, as you would expect in this well, house. And places badge with a bike tag in the back to authenticate. At this point we have a list of patients in a control that you built, a carousel-like control. Over here we have the pieces of anatomy for the selected person. And so we drill into the heart. Next we're going to health fault and authenticating in health fault. At this point we're able to do 
multi-touch manipulations on the heart. So let's talk a little bit about multi-touch. That means both of us technically can be working at the same time. See my hands too, I'm rotating while Kevin is zooming. All right, totally sweet. So this app is essentially designed over here. So the doctor can select an image and have the heart orient to the, to the image so that they're able to annotate on the arterial structure. So most people, this artery here is not in this position. They can erase it and draw it exactly like the way it appears in the patient's heart. Exactly. I can even multi-touch that. Oh, neat. I've not seen that either. Cool. I can make some notes on it for bringing up the on-screen keyboard. Or I can even let Tim do it. Or I can do it while you do your work. Also, I uh, control some of the geometry on this, so I'm going to... Okay, this is definitely my favorite part of this application, looking inside the heart and then zooming in 3D. Technically, you could zoom right into an aorta or something like that. Yeah, that is just amazing. Amazing what WPF can do on the surface. Very cool.